Dean, after a very good uh, result last weekend, uh, the weekend training must have been quite positive. Yeah, the place is buzzing. We're all buzzing here at the Hoyf. Um Nice pun there. Um, but yeah, look, we're looking forward to tomorrow's game. Good game, two teams in, in really good form. Two teams with pace, um, and both teams with a lot of good uh, team spirit. Uh, I know they've got good team spirit at Yeovil. I know a few of the players they played from before. And I know Darren pretty well as well. So, yeah, it's a good game. We're looking forward to it. And uh, um, we're very excited. You mentioned that they're t- two form teams and, and, and someone's uh, good run's going to come to an end. Uh, how, how do we make sure that's not us? I think it's important we go there and we make sure we don't get beat. Um, that's sort of the first part of the call. Um, we want to play on the front foot, which we always will do. Um, they've got a lot of pace, so we've got to nullify that pace. Obviously, I know Charlie Wakefield pretty well. I managed them before um, in the wide areas and he's flying for them this year. Um, and they've got good experience at centre back in Wilkinson who organises the team well uh, the two eights in midfield they run hard um, Gorman and Wardington so they play a similar formation to us so it's going to be an, an interesting game Yeovil are unbeaten in the last nine and it's, it's surely it's surely going to be a, a real tough test to, to overcome them and get our fourth straight win yeah look you know there's no easy games in this division you know I went and watched the South End Maidenhead and Maidenhead were out were excellent you know, we managed to beat them at the weekend 3 0, but I thought they deserved to win the game against South End. Um, it just shows you there's just no easy games in the division. And, uh, you know, we respect the opposition, we do our research, but we can only affect what we can do. So we'll, uh, we'll get on the front foot and we'll try playing uh, as positive as, as we can. Uh, Daniel Powell came off the bench against uh, Mainhead United. How, how's he and, and some of the other uh, in, injured lads? Uh, yeah, Powell's, Powell's okay. Um, he's in the squad tomorrow. So. Uh, Adam Marriott had a baby this week, so he's okay to be in the squad tomorrow as well. So, um, yeah, there's lots going on. Uh, Sam Woods is still out. Uh, Kim Flanagan is still out. He's nearly there. I can see Woodsy in the background there, uh, training out there with the physio team and the performance boys. So, um, hopefully, he'll be back next week for the Bournemouth game. Um, but yeah, all uh, all's well. A, a clean sheet against uh, Maidenhead is something we're looking to build on uh, once again uh, at Yeovil. Yeah, I said that to you last week. Clean sheets are imperative. You're going to have success. You know, they're a must. Um, all the teams that are at the top of the division will have the best defensive records. And defending, we want to defend from the front, which I think we've done really well. Our presence has been outstanding. Um, the big question for us is can we continue it? Can we sustain it over a long period? And uh, time will tell. I'm expecting a really good game, I'll be honest with you. I think it'll be an excellent game. I think it'll be uh, two attack minded sides with good pace. Both, like I say, will probably play the same formation. Um, and hopefully there'll be goals in the game hopefully for us and we can keep a clean sheet it's, it's a long trip for our, for our supporters down there on uh, on Saturday uh, what, what have you got to say to them? yeah it's a good old fashioned ground uh, it's a great place to go to be honest with you a uh, nice part of the world and um, we're looking forward to the game and I think our supporters you know, they can get, play a big part in it and um, we want to give them something to cheer about hopefully we can do that again um, we've just got to make sure we keep that togetherness um, hopefully they can drive us forward which they did against Woken you know we managed to win a game uh, realistically a draw probably would have been a fair result managed to win a game but I felt our supporters drove us forward that day hopefully we can do the same again on Saturday